Tate Shiho Betan. So let's just say for now that I've already rolled on top or have otherwise acquired the top position. And for now, I'm worried about maintaining the top position. That could be momentary, that could be for a prolonged period of time. We're just going to practice maintaining this top position, okay? Yes. The more upright you are, okay, let's actually talk about knees. So, my feet kind of hug his hips or buttocks, my knees hug him here. But none of this is static, it's always dynamic, so I may need to open up a knee or drop a foot back or whatever I need to do, understood? Yes. The more upright I am, whether I'm low on his hips or high on his hips, we have a, a pro and a con. The pro is that I'm able to actually really attack him here, be it with arm locks, chokes, striking techniques. The con is that I am a little bit more vulnerable to being thrown off. Okay. The lower I am, chest to chest, and more spread out across his torso, the less significant I can be in terms of a the strength. Again, there's a crossover there. But the more I'm emphasizing actually pinning and controlling him down. Oops. 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 That makes sense? Yes. So, and there's always an interplay, a constant dynamic flow between sometimes I'm up more upright, maybe he's pushing on me, and I feel like, okay, I need to get a little lower and slow things down, or maybe, okay, now I feel good to come up and do some damage. <clears throat> to practice just maintaining this top position, what we're going to do is we're going to start here, arms based. Again, arms can be tied up sometimes, maybe sometimes this way. There's many, many different configurations. But for now, I'm going to have him try to push me off to the this side, really push me off. And I'm going to, go ahead, base at an angle with his arm and hold his neck. If we're a little closer, I can hold with the hook of my elbow, switch to the other side, and then I'm going to hook here. Notice that the leg is engaged as well. Go to the other way. The knee on that side does what? Open this up. This knee is very close. This arm is very close. He's going to roll me over. Does that make sense? Yes. So I need to be more Spider-Man than here. Because as soon as my hip comes beyond my knee and, knee and hand, my head comes beyond, I, my head is outside of that. Kind of, if you imagine a geometric shape where every point of contact you draw a line between it, I want to be more pyramid-like. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so we'll just practice. You attain top position. Your partner's going to attempt to push you off one side. Hook, open up the knee, open up the arm, and hold here. If you're closer, go with the elbow. If you're a little bit more open in the body, then hook with the hand. Put tension there, tension, 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 and then he's going to suddenly switch it, and you go the other way. The leg is biting down, hooking the head, and the far limbs, let's turn a little bit. The far limbs have opened up at an angle. So I don't want knee here and here, because he'll just end up on top of me. Everyone with me there? Yes. Questions on that? We're going to review a couple of different Tactics, but we'll start there. If, if it's when we were lifting our arm out, yes. Is it legs posted out too? No, not, it's hooking on to him. So let's actually turn the head that way. And again, the precise manner can vary based on where our exact position are. Frankly, based on your body and their body, how thin are they, how earthy are they, how big are you, how long, how short, whatever. But let's say, for example, he's going to push me towards Shima Rell's wall. Look at this side. Okay. So I, I don't want to create no connection there. I want to feel that I'm connected. So this one is hooking, and this is hooking. When he changes it, now I'm biting down with this. But what I'm trying to get at is you see how this knee is open, right? Yes? Yep. If I'm here, I'm less stable. This hand is here, and I'm totally unstable. Yes. Got it. All right. No different than in Pachiwaza, standing technique. Here, I'm stable. My head, hips are over my base. Now, in Pachiwaza, your base is much smaller because you don't have other points, right? 
of connection, right? My center is lower and I have more points of connection to the ground. But if he can get my head beyond that geometric shape, you, you understand the concept of, then I'm off balance. So my head is inside of this base right now. If he pulls me here or gets me here, I'm off balance. So I want to make sure if he tries to pull me forward, let's say, that I create a shape that's going to make it more difficult for him to do that. If this foot is over here, I've already done half of this job for him. Right. So it's the groundwork equivalent is the same idea. If I'm this way, center is higher, and it does. if you look at the distance between my head and the outer boundary of my body, it's not that much. But if I'm like this, for him to get my head past that hand right. is going to be much more difficult for him. Follow. So here, he starts slowly pushing. I'm already what? Outside. I'm already outside. Right. Do it again, please. Freeze. My head is already. I'm already in trouble. I have no connection to him, and my base is very small. Go push. Already hard. Right. Now, I could unhook, push, 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 unhook this to attack. But right now, our emphasis is on staying on top. So in addition to basing out, I'm gonna hook onto him to stay attached. So he, he can push hard, 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 hard. What's gonna happen is eventually he's gonna what, Mr. Gresham? Get tired. He's gonna get pretty tired pretty damn fast. He's gonna change. Maybe he tries to push my leg, push the other way. And then I have to change tap. So we're right now, we're just focused on maintaining top control. Okay? All right, questions? So all we're doing is going side to side. Side to side. Let's, let's, let's go in. So if I push her, she's here. If I push her that way, she bases and hugs my head. If I go the other way, same idea. Head trip. Make sense? Us, us. How'd you make? 